Urban Meyer is a busy guy, but he still found some time to write a book, Above the Line. It'll be released later this month. The title refers to a leadership concept that Meyer learned from a consultant named Tim Kite, someone who Meyer met at a party at his own house just two years ago, but very quickly has become an integral part of the Buckeyes program. It is Kite who provided much of the structure that Meyer used in Ohio State's championship run last year, as Jerry found out in a trip to Columbus this week. Let's go inside the staff room, presented by PlayStation View. Coach, how did this concept of leadership training start? Well, it started a long time ago when uh, I, I got to work for some credible mentors myself, and Lou Holtz was a leadership encyclopedia. I, I'd like to think we were more detailed then. I coached Mick, I had Dave Trichel, and and uh, we were blessed in 12 with an incredible group of leaders. They walked out the door, and we were stuck in 2013 with uh, a bare bone, you know, I want to call them anti-establishment type atmosphere. And so we started leadership training early. We started it when we got here. Uh, it was really me, Urban, and Dave Trussell, our video guy, and we kind of tried these programs with video and we would teach what we knew leadership was. So my title is director of post-production and my primary responsibility is to produce highlight and motivational videos for our team and recruiting. Uh, how, how that trans translated over the past couple years is it's been a valuable tool in how we teach and cultivate uh, our leadership within the team. And then I met this guy named Tim Kite. Uh, he's a leadership consultant, uh, corporate leadership. Um, and we started talking and he has exactly the same philosophy that I do. There's very little that we teach or do that he didn't already believe in, but what we do is we bring a very systematic, disciplined methodology for building better leaders in Ohio State football and strengthen and enhance the culture and then enhance the, the behavioral skill of the players and the coaches. He has a systematic way of teaching it. I couldn't get enough. I mean, it was five hours a day, four hours a day. I uh, brought him in to speak to our team, and that's when it really took off. All coaches believe in leadership, and I think all coaches attempt to teach leadership. How was Urban doing that before your partnership with him? Coach Meyer would talk with the players and have them summarize, and they were doing a real good job, I think, in teaching fundamental leadership through a series of these weekly meetings with the leadership council. But when I became a head coach of Bowling Green, we started leadership training, put together leadership groups like most coaches do. And I fell a little bit into the trap, like a lot of you know this, that... A couple quotes here and there, a video, and that's one, one session down. David Trichel here at Ohio State, our, our post-production specialist, is a wizard at not only video creation, but Dave's a content guy. So he, David understands leadership probably better than most people. With this generation that's so uh, stimulated by uh, you know, Instagram and YouTube, the videos were a key piece to help teach this for us. And that was where I came in and we were able to bring along these messages of, uh, you know, whenever you see Kobe Bryant looking at Lamar Odom saying, hey, this is what I need you to do. And Lamar saying, I need Kobe to be able to do this. I need that leadership. How does your staff interact with the whole program? The first year was primarily based on we taught it to the staff, but then we went after the players, and the players really bought in, did a nice job. And in 2014 is when I took it to the nth degree, and I made our coaches go through a five-week leadership training. And I don't know if it's ever been done before, but we had our actual coaching staff take leadership training. And corporate America spends millions of dollars on it. Coaches don't spend anything. And uh, I think, I, you know, I know I learned my lesson. We're always going to teach our leaders how to lead. Leadership starts at the top, and leaders go first, and people follow. And I, here's a fundamental leadership principle that we've taught to here and every place else. People follow the leader first and the vision second. It's not uncommon that a corporate client will, will hire us and want us to go train the people in the company. Well, we've got to train the leaders first. There's going to be good times. There's going to be bad times. There's going to be things that happen, and your team is only as strong as that, that foundation. And to me, that foundation is built with great leaders. And so the first system that we applied is something we call the R factor. And the R factor is a very simple and a very powerful equation. E plus R equals O, which is event plus response equals outcome. And we immediately began teaching that several years ago to the leadership council. And that's always been what we taught, but not that systematic. There's always been a culture here, but it wasn't a systematically taught. And kids, good kids. Well, I can't say all kids, but good kids, which we have here, they want to learn. They want to lead. 
they know that life after football, if you're a leader, is pretty good. And uh, they bought into this thing with uh, everything they had. What's the most gratifying and satisfying thing about teaching a young person about leadership? Watching these young men take the tools and learn and, and respond effectively to whatever challenges that they face. Fair to say that this will always be a big part of your program? This will be a big part of my life, uh, my children's life. My, uh, there's no, it's not just a part, it's a huge part. And the one thing that Jerry, and you know me very well, is I can't get enough learning. And if it can make this program better, make my family better, make friends better, I'm going to bite into it as hard as I can, and uh, this does. That's fascinating stuff, Coach. And as you know, I spoke with Tim right. Kite when we were at practice for about 15 minutes on the side, and he absolutely blew me away. And one of the things he said to me at that point, we were talking about leadership and talking about the program, and he said no coach has ever committed to leadership that he's aware of and to teaching leadership in the way that Urban Meyer has with Ohio State. Give people a sense of the scope of this program. And I think that's a key part. It's Urban taking it, as he said in his own words, to the nth degree. What a surprise. Urban would go <laughs> full speed into something. Over 50 leadership sessions. And, and Urban said he, he can't get enough. And everyone in the staff felt the same way. So how does this translate to game day? What did they do with leadership today? Well, David Trussell, who is an important piece to this whole thing, who, whose official title is post-production, every one of the people of the leadership cabinet mentioned him in that piece. He puts the finishing touches on the leadership training for the week. In fact, just about two hours ago, he was going to present a video, and I had a chance to ask him earlier this week what that video was going to be all about. When will be the last video the team will see before they play Maryland? It will be right before we leave the hotel. Um, so the guys come in, they do all their pregame stuff, and then they're dressed, coat and ties, ready to go into the game. And then we pull them into a meeting room. Coach gives his final speech. That we hit the video, and then we're out the door on the way to the stadium. Have you made the video yet? Working on it right now, sir. Can you tell us about the topic? No, sir, not yet. Top secret? Yes, sir. Very Can you much. Give so. us a little bit of a hint. How do we get elite players to play in an elite level? That's it. Challenging our guys to be to play at an elite level.